and help my heart to understand. In Jesus' name, amen. Enjoy the show. Would you have something against another Christian? How can you bring yourself to go before judges who are not right with God? Why do you not let God's people decide what is right? Surely you know that God's people will judge the world. So if you are able to judge the world, are you not able to judge small cases as well? You know that in the future you will judge angels. So surely we can judge the ordinary things of this life. If you have ordinary cases that must be judged, are you going to appoint people such as judges who mean nothing to the church? I say this to shame you. Surely there is someone among you wise enough to judge a complaint between believers. But now, one believer goes to court against another believer, and you do this in front of unbelievers? Surely you know the people who do wrong will not inherit God's kingdom. Do not be fooled. Those who worship idols take part in adultery. Those who steal are greedy, get drunk, lie about others, or rob people will not inherit God's kingdom. In the past, some of you were like that, but you were washed clean. You are made holy. You are made white with God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Spirit of our God, I am allowed to do all things, but not all things are good for me to do. I am allowed to do all things, but I will not wet anything Make me a slave. Food is for the stomach, and the stomach is for food. But God will destroy them both. The body is not for sin, but for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. By his power, God has raised the Lord from the dead, and will also raise us from the dead. Surely you know that your bodies are part of Christ himself. So I must never take the parts of Christ and join them in fleshly sins. It is written in the scriptures, the two will become one body. So you know that anyone who joins in fleshly sins becomes one body with the flesh. But one who joins with the Lord is one spirit with the Lord. So run away from sin. Every other sin people do is outside of their bodies. But those who sin sexually sin against their own bodies. You should know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you. You have received the Holy Spirit from God. You do not belong to yourselves. Because you were bought by God for a price. So honor God with your bodies. This chapter says, I am allowed to do all things, but not all things are good for me to do. God doesn't turn us into robots when we ask him into our heart. We still have free will. That means we can choose what we do. But just because we can choose something doesn't mean that we should. It doesn't mean that it's good for us or that it won't have its own natural consequences. So we should be careful with the things we say and the things we do to try and please the Lord. Would you like to ask Jesus in your heart today? Pray this prayer with me. God, Thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for my sins. I believe he died and rose again. Please forgive me for everything I've ever done wrong. Jesus, come into my heart, make it clean and new. Help me to live a life that's pleasing to you. Help me to do the right things, the things that will make you happy and proud of me. Because I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have a pet that you would like to see on a special episode, have your parent or guardian email me at the email address below. The emails 
should include your pet's name, a Bible verse you would like to hear him read, and a forward-facing photo of your pet. If you would like your name and age included, add that to the email as well. Each time we have 10 entries, we will make a special episode. If you love this episode, like our channel, subscribe, and ring the bell. See you next time. Thanks for watching the show.